So this is where me and you disagree, right? So potential growth, If so I'm thinking about the trucking industry, right? If you look at all the aspects of the trucking industry, the biggest impairment for having your, not having an automatic restriction or the biggest, you know, I, I think is the heavy haul industry. And that, if you look at what's going on in the trends in the trucking industry, what Chase Barber is doing in Canada with Edison Motors, it looks like he's going to make a heavy haul truck. And that's going to be where you would have your most benefit of buying, of having your automatic restriction lifted is in the heavy haul industry. And it seems like the electrification of trucks is going to have the, is, is going to be the first place, one of the first places that it's going to have a real impact because of the torque and the electric motors. And the, the way that Chase Barber's making his truck is he has electric generators, so you're not going to run out of juice, right? So if you look at the industry as a whole, as all these trucks getting cycled in and cycled out and the used market, you, if you look at the used market of trucks, more and more are becoming automatic, automatic, automatic. Almost all new trucks manufactured in the United States or that are used in the United States are automatic, right? And from zero to like, say, three years of driving, you would be better off driving an automatic transmission because of all the distractions and everything else that goes on you will be a safer driver in the year zero to three with an automatic restriction that's just the way it is if you look at the, the trucking industry if you look at all the distractions now you have yourself you have all this other stuff that's a distraction but if you don't have to work and you're less fatigued how do i know this because i drove a stick i drove a 379 peterbilt for seven years I did local driving with the stick, and I also did local driving with an automatic, and I did over the, the truck I currently drive is an automatic. And I'll tell you right now, from personal experience, there is a huge difference in the fatigue factor and how I run my truck. You're just less tired, you could be more alert, and you could be more productive, which means you can make more money, which means you're going to have a, a better taste in your mouth of your trucking experience. So if you want to be a successful truck driver, you should look for these automatic trucks so you can get your feet wet, understand the industry, right? And then if you want to drive a stick, you can do that later. And you could pay for it yourself. If you have enough money to pay for it yourself, then you then you could potentially be in that position. I see your point, and it's not zero. It's not zero potential growth, but it's inconsequential, in my opinion, right? And I'm a current truck driver in the industry. What are your thoughts? Bye.